welcome to Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. In the spotlight tonight are John Larkin, an accountant whose specialist subject is Islands of Great Britain, Tamsin Hiles, a housewife who will be answering questions on the Pop Larkin Chronicles by H.E. Bates, Nathan McClelland, who's unemployed and whose subject is Doctor Who, 2005 for the present, and Paul Garrell, a hospital porter whose specialist subject is the League of Gentlemen. possibly in search of a bit of fame and glory, uh, to be more precise, the title of the nation's mastermind. Standing in their way is the small matter of having to answer an awful lot of questions under an awful lot of pressure. Two rounds, specialist subject and general knowledge. Two minutes on the first, two and a half on the second. So let's find out who copes best with that pressure and ask our first contender to join us, please. And your name is? John Larkin. Your occupation? Accountant. And your specialist subject? Islands of Great Britain. And many islands off the coast. And you have two minutes, starting now. The largest island in Wales is Anglesey, known in Welsh as Unas Morn. Which stretch of water separates it from the Welsh mainland? The Menai Strait. Yes, the oldest seaside pleasure pier in the UK, opened in 1814, is on the northeast of which island? Isle of Wight? Yes. The Ardbeg, Lafroig and Lagavulin distilleries, known collectively as the Kildalton distilleries, are on an island in the Inner Hebrides. Which island? Isla. Yep. The 78 chess pieces discovered on the Isle of Lewis in 1831 were carved in the 12th century from the tusks of what animal? Elephant. Walrus. A memorial to the home of aviation is on which island? The Royal Aero Club established its first airfield there in 1909. Ooh, Canvey Island. Sheppy. Which island in the Outer Hebrides is the only British island to have an airport operating scheduled services where the runway is a beach? Barra. Yes. In 1897, the first wireless message, successfully transmitted across water, was sent by Marconi from Lavenock Point in the Vale of Glamorgan. On which Welsh island was it received? Caldy? Flat home. The Hebrides Overture, composed by Felix Mendelssohn, is also known as Fingal's Cave, the name of a basalt sea cave on which island? Staffa. Yeah. The sea stack, known as Castle of Burian, stands at the southeast of which of the Orkney Islands? Uh, Shape and say? West Ray. John Smith, the leader of the Labour Party, who died in 1994, is buried on which island? His grave bears the epitaph, an honest man's the noblest work of God. Mole. Iona. The Northumbrian island of Lindisfarne was the location of a monastery founded in the 7th century by which monk? Aidan. Yes. The highest point above sea level on any British island other than the mainland is the peak of a mountain on the Isle of Skye. Which mountain? Uh, Black Cullen. No, Skull Alastair. The islands of Skoma and Skokholm are part of which Welsh National Park? Pembrokeshire Coast. Correct. The people of an island off the far northwest coast of Scotland designated the oldest widow as their queen until the island was vacated in the mid-19th century. Which island? St Kilda. Handa. That's it. And you had uh, no passes. John, you have scored seven points. <laughs> And our next contender, please. And your name is? Tamsin Hiles. Your occupation? Housewife. And your chosen subject? The Pop Larkin Chronicles by H. E. Bates. Ma and Pa Pop Larkin and all the rest of them. Here we go. Two minutes, starting now. Ma and Pop Larkin named their eldest daughter Mariette after which historical figure? Marie Antoinette. Correct. What's the first name of the Larkin's precocious daughter who takes a shine to the Reverend Candy? By the end of the Chronicles, they're expecting a child. Primrose. Yes. Before he moved to Kent, where the Pop Larkin novels are set, H.E. Bates was born and brought up in which other English county? Here he developed a love for nature and the countryside. Northamptonshire. Yes. What colourful treat does Pop distribute to his children? In the first sentence of The Darling Buds of May, the storyline was inspired by a large, happy, real-life family whom H.E. Bates encountered outside a village shop in Kent. Super bumper ice creams. Yes. What is the name of Angela Snow's straight-laced sister who succumbs to the charms of the Beau Rivage Hotel chef Alphonse? 
Iris. Yes. What make is the black car with monogram straw-coloured doors that Pop proudly drives into the Larkins' junk-filled yard in the Darling Buds of May? It's a Rolls-Royce. It is. What is the name of the resort in Brittany where the extended Larkin family go for a month's holiday in a breath of French air? Uh, Saint-Pierre Laporte. Correct. At the start of Odeby in England, Pop stands a pair of tall objects adorned with fairy lights outside his front door to give some tone to his house. What objects? Uh, suits of armour. Yes. In When the Green Woods Laugh, Pop sells the dilapidated country house Gorecourt to the naive income as Mr and Mrs Jeroboam for what extortionate price? £17,000. Correct. When the Larkins pick fruit in the Darling Buds of May, Mr Jennings gives Charlie the job of checking and weighing the baskets. What fruit are they collecting? Strawberries. Yep. In Odeby in England, one of the several forenames of Mariette and Charlie's son is tried by Pop as such a nice round apple of a name. What name? Blenheim. Yes. Uncle Purse is working as a handyman at a hotel in Wildhurst when he spots that Pop's enemy, Mrs Perigo, has registered under a false name. What hotel? Uh, the Three Swans. Yes. What is the name of the consultant who examines Pop's cardiograph results after Dr O'Connell's initial assessment of Pop's condition in A Little of What You Fancy? Dr Mr Walker. No, Mr Millington. And which blister up start it off finish, which blisteringly attractive friend of Angela Snow's recruited to teach the womanising Captain Broadbent a lesson in O to be in England? She manages to duck the hapless captain in the river. Jasmine Brown. Is correct. No passes, Tamsin. You've scored 13 points. Thank you. And our next contender, please. And your name is? Nathan McClelland. Your occupation? Currently unemployed. And your chosen subject? Doctor Who, 2005 to present. Here we go, two minutes, starting now. Which actor played the role of Lobus Caecilius in the 2008 episode, The Fires of Pompeii? He returned to the series to star as the Doctor himself. Peter Capaldi. Yep. Christopher Eccleston's first dialogue as the Doctor is a single word instruction to Rose Tyler. What does he tell her to do? Run. Yes. In The Sound of Drums, the Master assumes a fake identity as a politician in order to become UK Prime Minister. What's the name of the politician? Harold Saxon. Yep. In The Eleventh Hour, the newly regenerated Doctor, played by Matt Smith, refuses all the food provided by Amy before he happily tucks into what strange combination of items? Fish fingers and custard. Quite. After briefly appearing in Twice Upon a Time, the 13th Doctor, played by Jodie Whittaker, made her first full appearance in the first episode of Series 11. What is the title of the episode? The Woman Who Fell to Earth. Yes, which actor played John Lumick, the creator of the Cybermen, on a parallel Earth in the episodes Rise of the Cybermen and The Age of Steel? Eric Stevenson. Roger Lloyd Pack. Which musician was the series' musical director and composer from Series 1 to Series 10? Murray Gold. Yep. When one of the Doctor's long-standing adversaries returns, he's played by two actors, Julian Bleach as an adult in 2008 and Joey Price as a boy in 2015. Which character? Davros. Yep. In The Pilot, the first episode to feature the companion Bill Potts, the Doctor's working as a lecturer at a fictional university in Bristol. What is the name of the university? Bristol Metropolitan. St Luke's University. Georgia Moffat, who played Jenny in The Doctor's Daughter, is the real-life daughter of an actor who had previously played The Doctor. What's his professional name? Peter Davison. Yes. In A Christmas Carol on a visit to California in 1952, The Doctor reveals that he's just accidentally become engaged. To which actress? Uh, Marilyn Monroe. Yes. In A Good Man Goes to War, who is revealed to be the mother of River Song? Amy Pond. Correct. In the episode entitled Rosa, the Doctor and her companions meet the civil rights campaigner Rosa Parks in Montgomery, Alabama. Which former children's laureate co-wrote the episode? Um, Mar Ma Mallory Blackman. Is correct. You had no passes, Nathan. You have scored 11 points. <laughs> And our final contender, please. And your name is? Paul Gurrell. Your occupation? Hospital porter. And your specialist subject? The League of Gentlemen. The British comedy troupe, perhaps best known for their dark comedy television series. Here we go. 
Who is the fourth member of the League of Gentlemen who co-wrote the television series together with the show's on-screen stars Matt Gatiss, Steve Pemberton and Rhys Shearsmith? Jeremy Dyson. Yep, in the stage show The League of Gentlemen Are Behind You, one of the characters appears at the start of Act Two in her role as a pantomime widow and sings a cover song that features the lyric It's Raining Pens. Which character? Pauline. Yep, in the film The League of Gentlemen's Apocalypse, Peter Kay plays a character called Simon Pig. What's the name of the character played by Simon Pegg? Pass. What is the name of the town in which the radio series On the Town with the League of Gentlemen is set? The setting would later move to Royston Vasey when the show transferred to television. Spent. Yes. Who composed the television show's theme tune and won a Royal Television Society Award for original title music? He wrote the score for all three television series, as well as the film The League of Gentlemen's Apocalypse. Joby Talbot. Yep. What is the name of Papa Lazarus' travelling circus? It arrives in Royston Vasey at the beginning of series two. Carnival of Pandemonium. Yep. In the Christmas special, one of the characters reveals to the Reverend Bernice that his professional failings and ill fortune stem from a Maharaja's curse placed upon his great-grandfather in 1895. Which character? Matthew Chinnery. Yep. The musician and singer Les McQueen was once a member of a band that were Eurovision Heats finalists in 1981 and are perhaps best known for their hit Voodoo Lady. What's the name of the band? Creme Brulee. Yep, the German teacher, Herr Lipp, who initially comes to Royston Vesey as part of an exchange trip, is the self-proclaimed queen of which city? Duesberg. Yep, who was the producer of the entire second and third television series? Sarah Smith had produced the first series. Pass. Which character has taken on as a volunteer at the charity shop after Vinnie goes missing in the third series? The character is later revealed to be the sinister Papa Lazarou in disguise. Keith Drop. Yep. The episodes of the third series each have their own specific story, but all culminate with the same character crashing a van into a garden wall, an accident that leaves him fortuitously unrecognisable. Which character? Jeff Tips. Yes, and... I was about to say I've started, so i would finished, but I hadn't quite started. So, that's it. Your time is up. You had two passes, Paul. Gemma Rogers was the producer of the entire second and third television series, and... Peter Cow was the character played by Simon Pegg. You've scored ten points. So <laughs> well, that's the end of the very high-scoring specialist subject round. Let's have a look at all of the scores. In fourth place with seven points, John. Third place, ten points, Paul. Second place, eleven points, Nathan. First place, thirteen points, Tamsin. So it is the general knowledge round now, and if there's a tie at the end of it, then the number of passes is taken into account, and the person with the fewer passes is the winner. And if they're tied on passes as well, there has to be a tie break. So let's ask John to join us again, please. And, John, you start out with seven points. You have two and a half minutes for your general knowledge, so loads of time to catch up. Here we go. Which British actress plays the title role in the 2005 children's film Nanny McPhee? Emma Thompson. Yeah. What German word, usually translated as spirit of the age, is used in English as a term for the prevailing mood or atmosphere of a particular time and place? Zeitgeist. Yeah. The layer of tissue called the tympanum or tympanic membrane is better known by what common name? Eardrum. Yeah. A large statue of the Greek god Oceanus standing atop a chariot pulled by seahorses is at the centre of which popular landmark in Rome? Uh, St Peter's Square? No, Trevi Mountain. An acre is the hallmark of the assay office of which West Midland city? Yes. Which American singer had a UK hit album in June 2019 entitled Madam X? It was her 14th studio album. Lady Gaga? Madonna. Which socialist organisation included Sidney Webb and the writers Edith Nesbitt and George Bernard Shaw as prominent early members? It was founded in London in 1884. Bloomsbury Group? The Fabian Society. In 1983, a NASA astronaut became the first American woman to travel in space. What was her name? Sally Ride. Yes. How are the friends Valentine and Proteus referred to in the title of a play by Shakespeare? Confusion results when they both fall in love with the Duke of Milan's daughter. Two gentlemen of Verona. Correct. The social media celebrity Sophie Hinchliffe, who has more than two million followers for her home cleaning tips, is better known by a name that forms part of her Instagram account. What name? Marie Kondo? No, Mrs Hinch. In 2016, the international law firm Mossack Fonseca became involved in a scandal about offshore companies and accounts after the leak of millions of documents. In which Central American country did the firm have its headquarters? Panama. Yes. The horizontal rows of the periodic table are referred to as periods. What term is conventionally used for the vertical columns? 
Groups? Yes. Which city in northern Spain is served by a ferry route from the English port of Plymouth? Santander. Correct. The American jazz composer, pianist and band leader Ferdinand Joseph Lamott Morton was better known by what nickname? Jelly Roll. Yeah. Which town in Lancashire was granted city status to become England's 50th city in the 50th year of the Queen's reign in 2002? Preston. Is correct. In 2019, which Olympic gold medalist became the oldest person to compete in the university boat race when he rode for Cambridge at the age of 46? James Cracknell. Yes, the songs Smooth Operator, The Sweetest Taboo and Your Love Is King were UK hit singles in the 1980s for which pop and soul band? It shares its name with its lead singer. Chardin. Yes, which organic compound present in tobacco is named after a French ambassador to Portugal who introduced tobacco to France in the 16th century? Nicotine. Is correct. Well, talked about catching up. You now, John, have no passes, 21 points in total. <laughs> Now, Paul, please. And you start out with ten points. Paul, the score to beat, as you have just heard, is 21. Here we go. Which 20th century UK Prime Minister had the maiden name Roberts and the middle name Hilda? Thatcher. Yep. Photophobia is defined as an extreme sensitivity to what? Light. Yes. The geographical feature named Badwater Basin includes the lowest point in North America at 282 feet below sea level. It's in which national park? Death Valley. Yes. What is the term for a piece of music played at the beginning of an opera or musical that contains some of the themes and melodies that will appear later in the work? Overture. Yes. The Italian dry white wine, Lacrima Christi, is made from grapes grown on the slopes of which volcano? Etna. Vesuvius. In November 1783, the first untethered human flight took place over Paris in a hot air balloon designed by two brothers who were pioneers in the field of aviation. What was their surname? Montgolfier. Yes. A chevron is most commonly likened to the shape of which letter of the alphabet? V. Yes. Which American comedian noted for appearing on stage smoking a cigar often performed as one half of a double act with his wife, Gracie Allen? He reached the age of 100 before his death in 1996. George Burns. Yes. What alternative name for crude oil comes from Latin words for rock and oil? Pass. Which sports stadium in Edinburgh was built for the 1970 Commonwealth Games and also hosted many events at the 1986 Games? Murrayfield. Meadowbank Stadium. The city of Casablanca, whose name translates from Spanish as White House, is in which African country? Morocco. Yes. On a standard European roulette wheel, what colour is the zero pocket? Green. Yes. In 2019, the film If Bill Street Could Talk was nominated for three Oscars, including Best Adapted Screenplay. Which American novelist wrote the book on which it was based? John, Up John Updike. James Baldwin. The Lady Isabella Water Wheel on the Isle of Man, claimed to be the world's largest working water wheel, is known by what alternative name? Pass. Which 1964 television documentary featured interviews with a group of children of the same age but from different backgrounds? Although it was intended as a one-off programme, the participants have been revisited at regular intervals throughout their lives. Seven up. Yes. What range of limestone hills in southwest England is cut through by a series of deep gorges, most notably Cheddar Gorge? Cheviots. Mendip. In a reference to the unusually high number of short-lived Roman rulers immediately mm -hmm. after the suicide of Nero, the year mm -hmm. AD 69 is known by what name? Pass. Which music club opened in 1973 in Manhattan's East Village was owned by Hilly Crystal? It became synonymous with the New York punk and new wave music scenes. Studio 69? No, it was CBGB. Hmm. You had uh, three passes. The uh, Year of the Four Emperors is how the uh, suicide of Nero was described. That wheel on the Isle of Man is also known as the Great Laxi Wheel. And rock and oil make up petroleum. <laughs> you have, Paul, a total of 20 points. <laughs> and now Nathan again, please. And uh, you start out with 11 points, Nathan. 21 is the score to beat if you are to get through the semi-finals. Here we go. Which is the only spiny mammal native to the British Isles? The hedgehog. Yeah, which element has the atomic number 19 and the chemical symbol K? 
Octasium. Yeah, two separate documentary films released in 2019 told the story of a failed music festival in 2017 in which thousands of people were stranded in the Bahamas. What was the name of the festival? Fire Festival. Yeah, the full official name of a major German port on the River Elbe is prefixed by the words the free and Hanseatic city of... Which Hamburg? Book? Yes. Two Italian designers called Domenico and Stefano established a fashion label in 1985 that went on to become an international brand. What are their surnames? Um... Armani and No, Boss. Dolce & Gabbana. The current geological era began 66 million years ago after the end of the Mesozoic era. What is its name? Cenozoic. Yes. The opening of the annual pheasant shooting season in the UK is on the first day of which month? May. October. Which fictional detective made his debut in the early 1920s novel The Mysterious Affair at Styles? He was killed off by his creator in the novel Curtain, published more than 50 years later. Poirot? Correct. What tree of the genus Sorbus thrives at high altitudes and is alternatively known in Britain as the Rowan and in North America as the Dogberry? Fur. Mountain ash. Edmund John Millington, the forenames of which Irish playwright born in 1871, he's commonly known by just the second and third initials and his surname. T.S. Eliot. J.M. Singh. Which American rapper's real name is Calvin Brodus? His hit singles include What's My Name and Drop It Like It's Hot, and in 2018 he released a recipe book entitled From Crook to Cook. Snoop Dogg. Yes. In which town near the border with England does the Scottish Football League Club Queen of the South play its home matches? Um, Perth. No, Dumfries. Remembrance Sunday is observed on the second Sunday of which month? November. Yes. What's the name of the title character played by Steve McQueen in a 1968 film and by Pierce Brosnan in a 99 remake? He's a wealthy thief who attracts the suspicions of an insurance investigator. Ocean. Thomas Crown. What term derived from the French for little wing is used in aeronautics for a hinged flap on the trailing edge of an aircraft wing? Um, aerolet. No, aileron. A technique of plating copper with silver invented in the 1740s by the cutler Thomas Bolsover is named after a city in northern England where it was developed. Which city? York. Sheffield. What three-word phrase that means outside the bounds of acceptable behaviour originally comes from the name for a fortified area built around medieval Dublin? Uh, pass. Well, I can tell you what the answer to that question was because you're out of time and it was beyond the pale. Nathan, you have scored... 19 points. <laughs> and finally, Tamsin, again, please. And you start out, Tamsin, with a whopping 13 points. Let's see how you do with your general knowledge. So here we go. The children's piece of music, the celebrated Chop Waltz, first published in 1877, is better known by what similar-sounding title? Chopsticks. Yep. The adjective strigiform means relating to what mainly nocturnal birds of prey? Owls. Yep. Walt Disney's first full-length cartoon feature film, released in 1937, featured the songs Whistle While You Work and Hey Ho, what is its full title? Um, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Yes. At the start of a game of chess, how many of the 64 squares on the board are unoccupied? Six, 48. 32. What name is given to the inscribed slab of granite which provided the key to deciphering ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics? It was discovered in 1799 and later put on display in the British Museum. The Rosetta Stone. Yes. Which company that specialises in online money transfers and was previously called X.com was acquired by eBay in 2002 for $1.5 billion? PayPal? Yes. The Atacama Desert, one of the driest places in the world, lies mainly in a South American country near its border with Bolivia and Peru. Which country? Mexico. Chile. What term for a literary assistant, especially one who writes or copies the dictation of another, is a Latin word for secretary? Oops. Sub-editor? Amanuensis. A decennial period lasts for how many years? Uh, 500. 20. In March 2019, the jockey Bryony Frost, riding a horse called Frodon, became the first woman to win a Grade 1 race over jumps at an annual horse racing festival. Which festival? Grand National? Cheltenham. The 1969 work of performance art known as the Singing Sculptures established the reputation of a pair of artists who went on to work primarily in the medium of photography. How are they usually known? Oh, Gilbert and George. Yes. What executive arm of the European Union has its headquarters in the Berlaymont building in Brussels? <sighs> 
World Health Organization? European Commission. A temperature of minus 273.15 degrees on the Celsius scale is generally known by what two-word name? Absolute zero. Yes, the retired long-distance runner, Haile Gebrselassie, who broke more than 15 world records during his career, represented which country? Ethiopia. Yes. What specific name is commonly given to the point of a satellite's orbit that is furthest from the Earth? It's sometimes called the higher apsis. The nadir. The apogee. Which alternative name for... A computer screen is also a name for a numerous species of large, long-necked lizards. Monitor. Yes, which 1925 novel by Virginia Woolf follows a day in the lives of a fashionable London hostess and a First World War veteran who has shell shock? Um... I really can't think. Pass. Well, I shall have to tell you, because you're out of time anyway. Mrs Dalloway oh, is yes. the answer. So that was your only pass. You now have a total, Tamsin, of... 22 points. <laughs> well, what a tense contest. Let's have a look at the final scores. In fourth place, with 19 points, Nathan. Third place, 20 points, Paul. Second place, 21 points, John. First place, 22 points, Tamsin. Which means, of course, that Tamsin goes through to the semi-finals. Congratulations to her. And if you would like to be a contender in the next series, do go to our website, bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind, and you can follow us at Mastermind Quiz. And do join us again next time for more Masterminds. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>